uh, silakan pertanyaan dari Putri. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Nur Wahyu Ningsi. I'm a student. Pertanyaan saya, banyak orang berbondong-bondong masuk ke dalam agama Islam. Oh, lanjut. Tetapi mengapa banyak orang yang mengaku Islam tetapi perilakunya kafir? Cukup sekian. Uh, right, her name is Siti Nurwah Yuningsi. She is a student. She is asking question. Why there are many Muslim? But uh, there are many Muslim by by identity, but they practice and. Oh, right. Uh, her name is Siti Nurwah Yuningsi. She is a student. She is asking question. Why there are so many Muslim, but they uh, do not practice Islam? Well, sisters asked me the question, why are there so many Muslims and they don't practice Islam well? I want to ask you that question. You live in Indonesia, in the country which has the largest population of Muslims. What are you doing? Why are they not practicing Islam? I see around me, here in Indonesia, I was there in Yogyakarta yesterday. I was there in bonding day for yesterday. A Muslim is coming and saying, you know, I was a Muslim, but now I'm atheist. He's proud. Imagine if my neighbor was a Muslim and he becomes a murtad, I will feel ashamed. In Urdu we say, I would feel like drowning myself in a bowl of water. There's a saying in Urdu, Chullu bar pani me do banna means I will take a bowl of water and drown myself. It is a shame on me that if my neighbor, who is a Muslim, is becoming a murtad, is leaving the religion of Islam. You are asking me, I am asking you. I am coming to Indonesia now. You are living in Indonesia. Why are the Muslims leaving their faith? You know why? Because your touch, your connection with the Quran is lost. MashaAllah, you have beautiful karis. Very beautiful karis. One of the best in the world. The Quran wasn't recited only to be read. Yes, you have to read it. But most of the people in Indonesia reading the Quran don't understand it. Besides reading in Arabic, read it in the language you understand the best. If you know Bahasa, read it in Bahasa. If you know Java, read in Java. If you know English, read in English. If you know Urdu, read in Urdu. Read it in the language you understand the best. You are doing tilawat, khatme Quran. One time, five time, ten time, twenty time. You don't understand what's the use. And I've heard for many years, you know, that majority are not practicing. Now, alhamdulillah, the last few days that I've been in Indonesia, I see that there is a spark now. I'm seeing many youngsters, mashallah, coming closer to the deen, coming closer to Quran and Sunnah. I'm seeing that in the question and answer session, that though many are deviating, but there are many who are coming closer to Quran and Sunnah. I never expected that I give lectures in English and Urdu. I never expected such a large audience in Indonesia. That means now the Indonesians, Alhamdulillah, they want a day to come. It is the duty of the people who are having institutions, like this great institution that you have, Darus Salaam, that you see to it that you teach them the meaning of the Quran, coming closer to Quran and Sunnah. And it's my request. 
to the several scholars of Muslim scholars of Indonesia. We Muslims should be united. We find that Muslims are divided. We may differ, but most of the points we agree. We may belong to different organizations, no problem. But for the cause of Islam, we should be united. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 103, Wa tasibu bihablillahi jamia tafarraku. Hold to the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. The rope of Allah is the glorious Quran and the authentic hadith. If all the Muslims stick closely to the Quran and Sunnah, inshallah, again we'll be torch bearers of the world. And anyone who tells you to go away from Quran and Sunnah, we don't require such people. Allah's help is sufficient. It is time the Muslims of Indonesia awake. You should arise. Indonesia is a country which has the maximum number of Muslims. You should be an example to the world that we are following a deen. As Allah says in the Quran in Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse number 19, Inna dina in the al Islam. The only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam. Submit the will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may the revival come and I can see it coming. You should make it a point that anyone who speaks against Allah and his Rasul, let him be anyone, be your close friend, may it be your parents, may it be your teacher, may it be your professor, may it be your rector, may it be your prime minister, may it be your president. If anyone contradicts Allah and his Rasul, you should follow Allah and his Rasul and no one else. And I hope that answers the question.